What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thab Barnett. Today we're looking at Sheffield's online interactive calculator to figure out how many four by 10 foot flat sheets you need to purchase for the amount of trim on your next project. So let's jump in. Here we are at SheffieldMetals.com. This is the interactive calculator. If we scroll down below that, you can get access to the full trim calculator, which uh, includes accessories and other things like that. It's an Excel file and you can download that here for free as well. Right now we're gonna learn how many four foot by 10 foot flat sheets we need to purchase for the trim for this project. Some basic instructions, we're gonna first select the trim pieces we need. We're gonna input the desired stretch out, which is how wide the material is before bends are made. And then finally input the total linear feet needed of each trim piece. A couple quick notes, all pieces are in 10 foot lengths. This calculator doesn't reuse leftover lengths of flat sheets, and all options are based on Sheffield Metals recommended details. Let's get started. So here on the left side, it's gonna ask us uh, about which trim pieces we need, and on the right, it's gonna tally the results in real time. Up here, we see total four foot by 10 foot flat sheets needed, and then each trim piece is listed below. And if at any point we need to clear our results and start over, we can click this button at the bottom. All right, in our example, yes, we're gonna need drip edge trim. If we click yes, it's gonna bring us to the input drip edge trim information section. And here we can enter our stretch out. There's also a default number already listed in here. And this is based on some standard sizes of the trim. And then we just need to input our total linear feet needed. So let's say we want 400 linear feet of drip edge. And then here on the right side, you can see that update in real time. So we're gonna need 40 pieces of drip edge, and that's gonna equal seven total four by 10 flat sheets based on our eight inch stretch out. So we're gonna keep moving. Yes, we're gonna need some valley. I know we're gonna need 80 feet of valley, and we're gonna keep the standard default stretch out. Now when I click off on the valley, this brings up an important point. Here we can see that we've added eight pieces of valley. But if we scroll down, we can also see there's 16 pieces of offset cleat added as well. This is taking into account Sheffield standard details. For a standard valley, Sheffield Metals requires that an offset cleat be placed on each side. So this accounts for those extra trim pieces as well. And we're gonna continue down the list in a similar manner. Yes, we're gonna need hip and ridge. And I know we're gonna need 120 linear feet of hip and ridge. When I click off, we can see that 12 10 foot pieces have been added, but 24 pieces of Z closure as well. Again, this is based on Sheffield Metal standard details. Later on in the calculator, we'll be able to adjust the stretch out of the Z closure to account for different rib heights. At this point, we keep following our cut sheet, roof takeoff, anything that you're using to get these numbers from, and we're gonna keep adding trim pieces that we need. I do know we need some box gable trim, and we're gonna need 180 linear feet of box gable. And you can see that added Z closure as well. Click next. No sidewall, no head wall, no slope transition on this roof, no fascia transition. And here is where we can enter the stretch out for our Z closure. We're gonna increase this to a six inch stretch out for our Z closure. Click next. We can change the stretch out for our offset cleat. We're gonna leave that as standard. Click next. Starter cleat, also standard. And it'll bring you to a thank you page. Your results remain the same on the right. These are real time results. We'll give you the total four by 10 flat sheets required. For my project, it's gonna be 28. And then the pieces needed of each trim that you selected. Now this does not include a waste factor. So you'll have to account for that as well. And this is again, only an estimate. Make sure to always, always check your numbers before ordering material to make sure that you don't get too much or too little. If you need access to the full trim calculator, you can click here to download. And this will also provide estimates for total pancake head fasteners, pop rivets, sealant, butyl tape, and more in addition to all of the trim pieces that we already discussed. Make sure to visit SheffieldMetals.com to use the free trim estimator calculator. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. Comment down below with any questions. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.